Hey guys, hope you are well. Um, Dan from Training with Dan here. Ho happy Friday, everybody. Hope you had a good trading week. Um, yes, yeah, so just a quick look at um, how we're getting on with the um, the 10 minute DMT chart that I like to use. Um, yeah, we, we looked like the other yesterday we were getting close to that 8550 level, but we didn't um, didn't reach that, didn't reach it, didn't close a candle below it, a 10 minute candle, we didn't cross it at all actually. Um, so yeah, and then we rallied up from that point back to back to well, say back all the way up to nine thousand. It is back to nine thousand, obviously technically, but I mean not back to nine thousand we've been to very recently. Um, so yeah, so obviously the line, the sell line is moving up, so that will be our next um, signal. Can only be a sell signal because we're currently in a buy trade, so that's that's moving slowly up actually currently at eight six fifty. Um, so we'll see what happens over this weekend. Um, yeah, so another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is um, is is why I am so sold on the idea, personally, of of bot trading. Um, I've traded financial markets, various different sorts of financial markets, um, starting off with um, euro dollar and bond markets, uh, government bond markets, um, back in two thousand and six, and between then and now, I've traded obviously mainly traditional markets. Um, more only the past couple of years crypto markets but and i still trade the other financial markets but but yeah so what i want to wanted wanted to say is that obviously in my in my, in my experience of obviously lots of periods of losing money over that time blowing up lots of accounts um and just the general learning to trade um process after actually learning at an actual proper financial institution um yeah, so I've I've come to the conclusion that a lot of the problems with trading come down to the actual individual personal psychology um, of the of the person that is doing the trading. Um, so so yeah, so I think a lot some of the problems I did have early on in trading was um, I learned to trade in a certain way where I was um, fading moves in um, in basically the yield curve. Um, so I sort of got my initial mindset with trading uh, as fading moves and I obviously had to get out of that uh, I didn't have to obviously that is a legitimate way to trade but um, trading um, trading breakouts I found to be is is definitely more more the way forwards I think so that so that does bring me to what I think are um, the most um, difficult things to overcome um, as a trader um, as I, I just believe they go against just general human nature. Um, so the first one of those um, is that um, you have to hit your stops basically. Um, so when you're in a trade, um, if you've t you take you take a trade um, based on whatever indicators, whatever what fundamental view you've got, um, it is very easy to commit yourself psych psychologically to that trade. So you won't. Um, you won't want to hit the stop, admit you're wrong. You might move the stop um, if the price looks like it's going to get towards it. And I've done this lots of times in the past. And yeah, it's just the more you move a stop, um, just the more money you lose. And, and more often than not, it will get hit if you're just if you're in that frame of mind. The market is moving the other way. It's just going to take more money off you. Um, obviously, not all the time. But overall, I think that that's that's the sort of thing what happens. Um, and then and then a similar thing to that is um <clears throat> is similar in a way, but I think it's actually worse. Um, is averaging offside. So obviously you can do you can dollar cost average. That is le as legitimate strategy, or you can you can plan to average off offside if the trade goes against you. Um, but obviously you will take a smaller initial position. Um, with the intention of then adding to that position if it's going if it's going to a certain um, if it goes to a certain level against obviously your original entry um, so that that is fine if you are going to um, plan that is your trade plan beforehand then that is fine that that's obviously that's something that is under your, under your control and it's not anything that you're emotionally negatively reacting to or anything whilst you're in a trade um because you just don't want to um admit you're wrong or you just want to get an out so say like you're a hundred dollars offside you know that if you double your position you only need to get fifty dollars and then you can get you can scratch the trade 
Um, yeah, or you just think, oh, we'll go up and I'll make double the amount of money. Um, yeah, so that's, um, yeah, so obviously average offside, but yeah, similar to average and off, so yes, average and offside um, is 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 a bad thing to do if it's not planned. So um, like all of a sudden, you're going to have double the position you, you originally planned for because we're working on the assumption that it's a position that you didn't um, uh, plan to average offside. Um, so yeah, so that and the third, the third um, problem. So that is in effect running your losses, uh, running your losses, not not hitting your stop, adding to add, averaging offside, and then the conversely to that is people don't run their profits or even add to their profits onside, add to positions onside. Um, yeah, because it's that again, again, again comes down to the human nature of just wanting to get that in the bag, get that profit capitalized. You don't want to lose those gains. Um, and yeah, so I, I would definitely say, um, being a, um, being a beginner trader, um, all those years ago and other beginner traders and people that I spoke to and, and just seeing how, how, how people speaking to people that have blown up accounts and how they've done it. Um, it's sort of like the general human nature is to do the, the exact opposite of what you should be doing. You just human, human nature when it pertains to trading makes you want to run your stops and not run your run your losses not hit your stops and average offside and then when you get a bit of profit or a little bit of profit um you then just want to take that profit um and then that's it the trade's done so obviously you should be doing the opposite you should be running your profits maybe averaging onside and then when your position goes against you, you should hit the stop. So so what this does, this brings me to obviously automated trading, which um, I'm a fan of, because not that I've not overcome these psychological aspects and elements of trading in myself, is that it's just, I, I don't have to then think about it, it's programmed into my bot, my bot is designed to have a, a profit target, and then it won't take that profit, it will have a trailing a trailing take profit target, so the, tra the trade can obviously run, as far as far as it wants to um and then i have my set stop loss and then i have my um trailing um trailing stop stop loss obviously set to the set that that stop loss set as a trailing stop so what that will do is that will limit my risk to the downside and so all i do need to go if i have a two percent stop my position only needs to go two percent up and then i just can't I can't lose money on that trade um and my gains are potentially to the upside are infinite obviously we all know that we can say it's potentially infinite it's not going to go up infinitely but you get my point it can go up a lot so so yes yeah, so that basically skews risk rewards definitely in your favor because you just leave the bot running um and yeah you don't interfere with it you don't do anything and then you don't have to worry about the human psychology aspect of it um so yeah so and then a an, another another um a thing that I think is very good with the bot strategy that I use with the DMT strategy with it being like it is in effect a breakout strategy so we'll break out of a of a zone or area that we've been trading in um, obviously the the longer a, a price stays around the same area the closer we're then going to get the line the sell or buy line is then going to come to the price um, and so we are in effect trading like a breakout from from the range that we're trading in and and i believe that whilst i originally learned to trade in, in a way in a market where i was fading moves in in hedged positions um to trading what are in effect outright positions we call them alcohol we call them outright so if you're outright long or outright short as opposed to being hedged so you're long and short something against it um so you're say say you've bought something you've sold something against it as a hedge and then you obviously you're playing the spread between the two um yep yeah, that that is a that is a, a a way to trade that you will often fade moves fade moves in the spreads because the spreads will usually return to a, a more equilibrium and to back to the equilibrium equilibrium, equilibrium the, the, the the average level um so but breakout trading without right so obviously if you're trading uh, Bitcoin on BitMEX, you're trading the outright outright market where it's just up or down. Um, so yeah, so if you're trading breakout trading, so with the bot, um, then I believe that you don't want to be averaging offside. You're just buying at that breakout point. The trade goes your way. 
um, you'll get to your profit, you'll run your profit, your stop will be moving up with the price initially, um, or you'll hit your stop, and, th and then that's it. I mean, you trade the breakout, if, if it's a false breakout, you take your loss, and, and then that's it. You're not going to average offside hoping we're then going to break out again. Um, you're just not going to do these things. Um, and, and another another really, really good aspect of um, the bot trading, um, and this this is this is um i think is a is it was a game changer mainly for me um trading traditional markets are obviously open a certain amount of hours per day uh monday to friday and then at the weekend they're closed and the evenings are closed um and and then yeah so you just know when you're trading you know when you're in the market you can switch off obviously that's completely different with bitcoin um it just never stops it trades all the time um so you can't you can't realistically monitor the market all that time the market can do whatever whilst you're not there um so one if you've got a position open obviously you're not you're not you can't just sit and monitor it anyway not that you should necessarily be because then all the psychological aspects will come into play um i mean you can't really plan your life around uh monitoring a position um or or potentially putting a position on when something happens um you can obviously put order you can obviously you can obviously put auto orders in and things but they 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 you're starting to move towards an automated trading system them anyway aren't you um, you just use the bot to fully control your risk and then your profit where how how are you going to take the profit um but yeah so obviously with the bot monitoring the market 24 7 you are um you are com or i mean i i can have trades on with my bot where i wake up in the morning and they've triggered and they've taken profit and then, it's, then they're done or they've triggered and they've taken the stop and then they're done um but they all these trades these opportunities um, if you don't take all the opportunity, providing you've got a winning strategy, you want to be taking all the opportunities you can. So, so the bot trading allows you, uh, trading with a bot allows you to make sure you don't make sure you don't miss any of these um, opportunities. So yeah, so that's um, um, some really big, um, really big positives that I find and why I'm why I'm completely sold now myself with with this bot trading with cryptocurrency um and then yeah and then obviously i i i have a great indicator that i use which works perfectly for my my breakout strategy um yeah so um thanks for listening to this video guys um this is dan from trading with dan um remember i'm not a financial advisor this is all just um educational purposes um trading financial markets especially especially cryptocurrency is very high risk um but yeah, so I'm gonna do gonna got another video coming up soon on um on some how I'm how I am tailoring my um bot strategy with Bitmex um and looking at other pairs other pairs that they've got on Bitmex and and then yeah so I'm looking forward to doing that one and um yeah so have a great have a great evening a great weekend guys and I'll speak to you soon.